Today is June 24th, Friday. Probably should have said Friday first. <laughs> today, today is Friday, June 24th, 2016. Got this pretty girl here. These two handsome little babies. And today, we are going on an adventure to Target. We're going to Target, but I'm not gonna say what we're gonna get yet. It's gonna be a surprise. However, the weather is not very appropriate for our surprise. It's a little cloudy outside today. What have I done today? Well, I slept in until 11 o'clock. That was nice. Fed some babies. Hung out with my friend Valerie. She came over and brought us Starbucks. Saw the twins for the first time. Yeah, that's it up until this point, so. Oh, you boys are so grunty. It's not lunchtime yet. You guys just ate. Yeah, that's maybe. It's not time for second lunch. You guys ready for a Target adventure? <laughs> so yeah, it was nice to catch up with my friend Valerie. Apparently she's been watching all of my videos. She's a she's a big fan of my, my vlogs. And I know she's watching this right now, so shout out to Val Pal. Like most people, Valerie was pretty excited to see the twins. I can tell you one who's not so excited about the twins. Beatrice. Beatrice, have you been neglected? Oh, you poor thing. Oh my gosh. See, I don't know why everybody likes these twins so much. I thought I was the cute one. You're still loved, Beatrice. You wanna go outside? You wanna go play in your favorite bush? Found your favorite bush. You just love it. You'd be surprised at how smart hedgehogs really are. She loves being outside. We try to take her out here once a day, every other day or so. But when we lived in our old apartment, we couldn't take her out as much. When she started coming out every day, she doesn't like to use the bathroom in her pen anymore. Hedgehogs like to be real active when they use the bathroom, so she would always spin in her wheel and just take little poop breaks like every two minutes. But she can spin in that thing for hours. I mean like, hours. I'll have to set up my camera one night and see if I can record her spinning. There you go, making a potty. Good girl. All right, let's go back inside. Oh man, I freaking locked myself out of the house. We locked ourselves out, Beatrice. It's okay, we can just go around here. I think I left the front door open. I could just bang at the door, but I don't want Jenny to have to get up and let me in. Is it open? Is it open? Let's find out. Yes. It's me. You locked yourself out? I locked myself out. Let's see if you go straight to the munchie bowl. Yes, you do. Another thing about hedgehogs, they like to eat right after they poop. Look at this. <laughs> Mac and Cheetos. Where's it at? Burger King. Burger King apparently has Mac and Cheetos. Fried Mac and Cheese covered in Cheeto dust. Is that what you think it is? Cheeto dust? I don't even know. It looks like <laughs> it's just thing. crushed up Cheetos. Cheeto crunch outside and nasty Mac inside. Now, if this isn't the cutest thing you've ever seen, then I don't know what is. We have made it to Target, our destination. Burnex, Cooper, and Jenny, and Cornelius Boys retail adventure. That's our next segment. That's all we do anymore. That's all we do anymore. This is our life. One day, one of these days, ah, that cool target breeze. We got soap, we got the teepee. Lisa Milano, signature brand paper towels. Why? Actually, yeah, we're gonna need those. <laughs> we 
We're gonna need these if we're gonna make our own mac and Cheetos. I think that's good. Mac and Cheetos essentials. Um, what? Blueberry pie Oreos. Yes. All right, I think we found what we're looking for. Another successful shopping trip completed. What do you think? Got away with some good stuff again this time? Mm -hmm. All right, now off to the bank and back home. I think we both could have spent like three hours in that place. We haven't been out of the house too much lately. <laughs> Man, I wish I would have had my camera out. We just saw this guy who was building a boat. It looked like a like a boat or an ark. Yeah, it looked like an ark. Out of pallets. Super cool. Just like regular wood pallets. I will definitely be going back to that place to get some footage of that guy. Might even have to give him an interview. Yeah, he was all by himself just working hard. He was building this boat like around a tree or a couple of trees. Just sweating on a summer day. Maybe he's preparing for a crazy storm or something. He's probably a cool guy. All right, time to try them. Ready to try blueberry pie Oreos. Watermelon ones are freaking gross. Watermelon, um, they have red velvet. Did you ever get to try those ones? Did we like the red velvet ones? I think we did. Oh, poor baby boy. So yeah, the watermelon ones, gross. I took one bite and threw the rest of the package away. So we'll see how these blueberry ones are. <laughs> Throwing cookies everywhere. They Purple smell good. Icing. Purple icing. Thanks, vanilla wafer. It's probably like pie flavored. Wait, it says on the side. Graham. What does it say? Graham flavored cookie, blueberry cream. Look at it, good. Ready to try it? <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Not bad. It's pretty good. It tastes like a blueberry muffin. It does, and I love blueberry muffins. Holy crap. Those are good. Blueberry pie Oreos. Amazing. You never let me down, Oreo. Well, except for the watermelon ones. Those were gross. Ah! They won't be good with milk, though. They might be. Isn't that thing huge? It is really big for 30 bucks. Right? Awesome. I think we're gonna like it. I think we did good. All right, here it is, our new summer surprise. Just kidding. Actually, what we have is right. <gasps> Success. Boom, there we have it. All we have to do is wait till a nice sunny day. This bad boy will be ready to use. I know what you're thinking. Cooper, you just had babies. You can't put them in that little kiddie pool. That kiddie pool is not for them. It is strictly for Jenny and I. We gotta have something to keep us cool this summer. And also, my friend Valerie brought over a Starbucks gift card earlier, and there's $30 on it. Thanks, Valerie. You didn't have to do that. That was very sweet of you, and I will definitely be drinking $30 worth of caramel macchiatos over the next two days. Speaking of which, I probably won't be filming anything tomorrow. Tomorrow, I picked up a shift at my job. My job does this crawfish festival every summer, and it's usually a pretty big hit. So I'm gonna go work that, catch up with some of my old co-workers, and uh, yeah, until next time.